Hello, this is Hebrew Hybrid. Welcome to the video. I'm going to do another early morning toy hunt. I only have enough time for a couple of stops. Right outside the Target on 21st and Mays, and as you can see, we have a little bit of ice and snow here in the Midwest. So, uh, without further ado, let's go inside. I'm still looking for the Chase uh, Collector's Edition Wonder Woman, uh, the Target exclusive Red Tornado, several others, uh, the Marvel Legends Chris Star that I'm wanting. I found out it's not going to be shipping until February. It was originally slated for January. But yeah, it, it got pushed back. That's something else I want. Uh, if I see it in the future, I definitely want to pick it up. You know, I was kind of a kind of a fan of Chris Star back in the early 80s. So yeah, uh, there's several other things I'm looking for that uh, it's not coming to my head right now, but if I see them, I'm getting them. Uh, this is not too long after Christmas time. So let's see what we got here. Flashpoint Wonder was marked out at 750. So, yeah, got plenty of these Aquamans with so the orange we'll upper body. Got Superman. Got that Signal Duke Thomas. Page Punchers. Death Storm. Uh, plenty of those around. Ooh, red tornado. All right. Gonna get two of them. There's the animal man. Not looking for the animal man. It's a nice figure though. Another red animal thing. Animal man thing. Got him. We have some die cast. Uh, my coworker said he wants some more Batmobiles. Here. We have the Hot Wheels, Batman v Superman, Batmobile. I'm going to pick that up for him. Pick one up for myself, too. I am a, I do like the Zack Snyder Batmobile. Pretty sharp looking, if you ask me. Yeah. And I'm going to get a good shot of this. See if uh, my coworker wants this five pack. I've been seeing him around quite a bit. See if he's interested. I'm gonna show him this video. He's got plenty of on the pegs here. So it's not any danger of not being around. Whatever I do come back for it. No other Batmobiles on the pegs that I see. There's supposed to be a color shifters Batmobile. Saw it on another YouTube's YouTube video. This is this right here is a pretty slick looking car. I'm not gonna lie. The Nitro Door Slammer. Nice. Yeah, there's supposed to be a Batmobile color shifter. I think it's the uh, the '89 Keaton version Batmobile. Oh, yeah, I don't see any more of those uh, Batman monster trucks. I've only seen them one other time at a different Target, but this is the Target I got mine from. Got the uh, original movie version of the Optimus Prime and the 1984 version of Optimus Prime. This one does not transform, by the way. It's just a die-cast truck. That's very sharp looking. Let's check out the wrestling figs and the Masters of the Universe. See if there's anything new over there. All I see is the uh, Origins version of the Hordak. I see. Nikto, Holographo, Zatman. A little diversity going on with the Masters of the Universe. What do we have? Ooh, we have Andre the Giant. WrestleMania 2 t-shirt. Pretty slick looking. Iron Sheik. Another Iron Sheik. Jimmy Hart. Looks like they're all Jimmy Hart's.
Ja. Let's head on over to the collector section. There's a uh, another the new wave of collector's edition DC Multiverse that has just come out. The Superman, that Green Lantern, Batman, and what's the other one? Kind of, it's kind of escaping me right now. I wouldn't mind have the Superman just for the crypto, but really, we don't didn't care much for the design of the new Superman. But all we got here. It's just the Golden Age style Superman. We have the Blackest Night, Batman. We have Batman the Animated Series. It's pretty nice. Some other time though. I don't see any of the new collector's edition DC Multiverse. I don't see any of the new Wonder Woman's, not yet anyway. But I'm on the I'm on the hunt for those. I got the two red tornadoes I'm wanting though. The DC classics. So I'm going to pay for these at the cash register. And I'm going to head on over to the Walmart that's just over yonder. I have just hopped on over to the 21st and May's Walmart. Getting ready to see what, we'll, what all we have. Like I said earlier, this is after Christmas time. A lot of times new stuff does not ship out. Sometimes it does, but not, not very often. Uh, ooh. Finally, it's got our, finally got a ratchet. I'm getting this. I am getting this. I've, I've been looking for this. I don't want it. Okay, we got some Ninja Turtles over here. Still not really a fan of how the Mutant Mayhem Turtles look. Still, still not really getting used to it. I just, I just can't. I just, I just can't accept it. That's just me. Uh, let's see what all we got here. As far as Marvel Legends. Future Ant-Man, Big Head. I don't see any, no new Marvel Legends. Uh, still have unmasked patents and Batmans on the pegs. It's been sitting here for a couple years already. Uh, still has some old superpowers, nothing new. Oops. My bad. So we got the armored Batman over here. Still got a page puncher Superman. Still got some Batmobiles down here. Some bat wings that haven't been clearanced out yet. Maybe maybe it has been marked down. Yeah, mark, marked down to twenty-four dollars. Not much of a clearance price if you ask me. Hmm. Huh. We have the Fighting the Frozen, which I'm still. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't hate how these look. I just not appealing to me to make me want to buy them. I mean, I wouldn't mind having the comic book and seeing what the story's about. But I'm pretty sure that eventually someday I'll come across one Fighting the Frozen comic book. Have it added to my collection. I remember last time I was here, they had a whole bunch of the Superman page punchers. Looks like they only got one left. One Superman full-size page puncher left. Not the small page punchers. But yeah. Um, Target already clearance out all their... Well, probably not Clarence out, but they probably sold these at full price, but they were all gone before our, they could probably get the Clarence 
but still got plenty of these on the pegs here at Walmart. I, don't, I really don't want to pay $45 for it. I don't know. I might eventually do it, but not today. There we have, still have some classic looking Masters of the Universe Origins figures here. About $18 a piece, and nothing new. Still got a point dread. I do have a point dread. Uh, got it on a on sale at Target right before Christmas time. Kind of tempted me to try to find a Castle Grey Skull. Kept passing it up when they're available in stores, because you know, kind of out of my price range at the time. And now that I have a point dread. I'm gonna have to pick up a, not really pick up, but order a Castle Grey Skull online. Get that shipped out to my house. But yeah, looks like uh, that's about all I scored today. I just got off work a little while ago, decided to hit up a couple stores. Uh, gonna go buy this uh, Walmart over on Pawnee and Broadway, and then I'll eventually hop on over to this GameStop. It's up this uh, Walmart has got some things that what I'm looking for, like brand new superpowers, hopefully Wave 4, and um, maybe the new uh, the Crawling Collector's Editions as well. I haven't seen any Collector's Editions at Walmart, but we'll see if we get lucky this time. Over inside the uh, Walmart over on Pawnee Broadway. This is not the uh, Walmart that's got uh, some bare space on the superpowers pegs. In fact, last time I was here, Superpowers is still pretty well stocked, but that's been over a month, probably three weeks. Uh, as I normally do, I head straight to the McFarland first. Let's see what's on the Holland store. About the same old stuff, same old Wonder Ones, Deathstroke, the Terminators, Nightwings, John Stewart's. Let me know if you guys still have any flashes on the pegs. Seems like Flash seems to be the most popular character out of wave three, waves two and three, should I say. So moseying on down with the resting figures. See if there's anything that I can't live without. Dolph Ziggler on the pegs. Tamina Snuka, Tamina Snuka. Two pack with Big E, Bobby Lashley, Alexa Bliss and Charlotte Flair. Another Alexa Bliss, Charlotte Flair, Biggie, Bobby Lashley, another Alexa Bliss, and Charlotte Flair. What we got here with the Nintendo merchandise here. Super Mario's, Koopa Troopa, or Magic Koopa, should I say. And Peach, there's Koopa Troopa. Red Koopa Troopa. Yellow Koopa Troopa. Got another peach up here. Got Donkey Kong. Got the piranha plant. And I just can't keep from not knocking stuff off here. Yeah, some of these deluxe size. Super Mario Brothers figures here. Got just the standard Mario, two standard Luigi's, whole bunch of toads. Fortnite. You have a hangman page here. Looks like he's, I think he's missing the title belt. Supposed to be a world title belt in here, I believe. Got them marked down to 1490. We have a CM Punk, an AEW CM Punk. It's kind of unfortunate what happened, you know. Well, things were going good right at the beginning, but right after that big locker room fight, CM Punk's locker room, things just went south, and I don't think AEW is going to recover. We got some bat wings here for $24. Needs to get lower. Really trying to get rid of them. Make up space. 
Charge a lower price. What do we got here? Galactic action. Oh, invisible jets still twenty dollars, which is a good thing. We have George Clooney, Batman here. I don't see any Chris O'Donnell Robbins. I don't see any Uma Thurman Poison Ivies. Hmm. Cool. Where's all the McFarland stuff? What else do we have over here? We got Howard the Duck. We got Star Lord. Talos. Marvel Boy. There's an Ant Man back there. Agatha Harkness. An alternate Loki. Yeah, nothing too worthwhile. Only got one Spider-Man No Way Home figure up here, the Sandman. I'm still looking for the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. Still have Toby Maguire, the Tom Holland. There we go. I only need, only need the Tom Holland, or not the Tom Holland, the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. All right, we'll check the uh, collector section over at Walmart and go on over to the GameStop. Check it out what we got over here. The collector section, the Blackest Night Batman. We have the Curse, I believe. Nope, King Spider. The Redeemer. That's what we have. The Injustice Supergirl, and the Injustice Dr. Fate, hmm. Ultimate Doc Brown, Back to the Future, looks like they're all Doc Browns. Cobra Commander, it's been a while since I've seen any Cobra Commanders. We have an Injustice Green Arrow, Justice Dr. Fate. Another Justice Green Arrow. Yep. Four inch Cobra Commander. One pouch. So we have a four inch Cobra Commander. That'll allow it to focus for a second. Yeah, I don't really see anything that makes me want to part with any money. Let's go ahead and hop on over to the GameStop. I do have to say I'm still thoroughly disappointed. I haven't seen the, uh, the Wave 4 of the Superpowers yet. And, uh, you know, to be honest, Far the Toys totally dropped the ball, you know. Uh, you know, there's plenty of Batmobiles to go around. But why buy a Batmobile when you don't have a Batman figure to put in it? You know what I mean? I want that blue and the gray Batman. Not good enough to... I don't want it enough to where, like, um... I have to pay shipping for it. Shouldn't have to pay shipping. Super Power Star off being a... Walmart exclusive. It's not exclusive anymore. Other stores can carry it, like GameStop. Why haven't any GameStop's gotten any way for? Hmm? probably get them online at GameStop but come on where's the fun in that let's get people out of the house let's get people out of the house let's get them shopping let's get people socializing let's get people talking you know let's get a little slow at my workplace you know, I'm a screen printer where I work at, you know, actually a screen maker. And I got everything shot for the rest of the month. It's only January 10th. I got everything shot to the 31st. Only like to say 10 days out. But everything's shot. I got maybe three jobs left to shoot from beginning to mid February. If it's slow where you guys work at, let me know. Leave it in the comment section. Are you slow at your workplace? Like scary slow.
Let's see what this GameStop has for me. My, oh my, what does the GameStop deities have for me? Got some stuff on clearance up front. Nothing I'm really looking for. Wouldn't mind having the uh, Carrie Kelly Robin just for the body wise, put a different head on it. Have a nice Robin on there. Like a Dick Grayson head. Hmm. Looky here. They have the Green Lantern Batman. I don't see a Superman around here. Do they have the collector's edition Superman? We have a collector's edition Sinestro, standard yellow lantern Sinestro. We have another George Clooney Batman. Got a Joker here. Joker here. We have the, the Gladiator Batman. Still have the Sasha Cali Supergirl. I might wait till, till that gets on clearance before I decide to, I'm going to pick it up. Yeah, I was trying to think of the uh, the other figure of this line, and I remembered earlier today it was just supposed to be Captain Carrot. Yeah. I'm going to pass up on the Green Lantern Batman. A little Marvel Legends we have here. Daredevil. Marvel's Fang, Mother Kill Man, Adrian Ant Man, King the Conqueror, Drax, World Zord, we have Star Lord, Ultron, Wonder Man, Zombie Iron Man, we have some Superpowers Wave 5 up here, we have the Wally West Flash, Dick Grayson Nightwing, Superman, the new 52 Superman. Yeah. Now here we have the Super Paris Thomas Wayne Batman, Peacemaker, Judo Master, and Vigilante, Black Manta from the Aquaman movie, Batwing, we have the Orange Top, Aquaman, the Jason Momoa Aquaman, Another Aquaman, but still suits. Blackest Night Batman. Green Lantern Rebirth, Hal Jordan, Page Puncher. Yeah. Here's where I'm showing off my haul. Uh, this is one of the two red tornadoes that I picked up. It's got a nice little cool... Um, Whirlpool standing base there, a little flight base if you want to call it that. Been looking forward to getting this figure. It is a Target exclusive gold label. It's got the extra set of hands here too, uh, extended, extended hands. He's currently got a uh, closed grip hands on the figure. There's the side, DC Classics. There's the other side. There's the underside with the barcode. Turn it around. There's what the top of the package looks like. And this uh, badass drawing here of the Red Tornado and all the different variations, color schemes of the Red Tornado. Uh, here is the Transformers Studio Series Ratchet, designed as he looked in Transformers the movie. I've been looking forward to getting this figure. I've uh, seen it around a couple times in some game stops, but uh, wasn't able to pick it up. Was getting a little scarce, but as soon as I uh, found it at Walmart, I decided to pick it up right away. There's the front, the sides, the top, Transformers the movie logo, the underside with the barcode. Here's what it looks like on the back, the figure pictured along with uh, what it transforms into, which is the ambulance. Started to pick up a couple of the Batmobile Hot Wheels here. It's modeled after uh, the Batmobile from the Batman v Superman movie. I got one from my uh, 
co-worker who uh, wants to collect Batmobiles and also got one for myself because uh, I am a fan of this particular design. Yeah, they're currently being shipped out. They're at all the Walmarts and the Targets right now. And here's uh, my overall haul. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave it a like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.